This week, I take a flight to South America's smallest country. Discover a loo with a view. There's the loo. And there is the view. And ride on one of the world's last remaining Airbus A340s as I take a flight across the Atlantic with Suriname Airways. It is a beautiful morning here in Amsterdam to go on a bit of a flight. And today I'm taking a flight across the Atlantic to the country of Suriname. Now, Suriname's national airline, Suriname Airways, fly four times a week from here in Amsterdam to their capital, Paramaribo, using an Airbus A340, which is a pretty cool plane. So I'm really excited to try and get on board today. Hi. Good morning, how are you? Good morning, you're traveling to Paramaribo? I am, yes. yes. Uh, this is the gate, uh -huh. G4. At 8.45, we're going to start boarding at okay. G4. And your seat is 4L. Perfect, thank you. Thank to you. To the lounge 41. Thank yes. you very much. Is it closed at the Aspire Lounge? Is it open again? I think it. I think it's already open. Okay. I think it's open, but if it's not, then there will be. Yeah, I think there's an alternate, isn't there? Yeah. There, yes. Well, have Perfect. a nice flight, sir. Thank you. Have a good day. Yeah, you're welcome. Thank you. Bye. All right. So checked in for the flight. They've said that it's the Aspire Lounge that they're using here. However, I flew through here yesterday, and the Aspire Lounge was shut. And she said, "Oh, it's open now." I don't think it's open. So as suspected, the Aspire Lounge is shut and they are using like a little cafe place instead of the Aspire Lounge at the minute because they're still renovating it. So, um, and it's rammed, packed full. So I'm just going to skip the lounge. I'm going to go to Starbucks, I think, get some breakfast from there. Uh, and then we can head to the gate because actually, <laughs> despite the fact that it's two hours before the flight, the flight actually opens for boarding in about 10 minutes because they seem to board like hours in advance. So um, that's a bit interesting. So let's go and get some caffeine and then once we've got some caffeine in our veins, we can head down to the gate. Can I have a name for the owner? Philip. Philip, thank you. From the American for Philip. Thank you. Here you go, have a nice trip. Thank you. So there she is, and isn't she a beautiful aeroplane? The Suriname Airways Airbus A340-300. The pride of Suriname, it's called. It's going to take me on a nine hour and something flight across the Atlantic Ocean, all the way to Paramaribo in Suriname. Just an incredible aircraft. They've got um, just the one of them in the fleet. They've only had the A340 for a couple of months and um, they were using an A330 before that on their flights over to um, Paramaribo from Amsterdam. It's the only international route really that they do. They, well, the only long haul route at least. I think they've got some 737s that fly some routes as well. That's annoying isn't it? I've got me coffee, albeit with a paper lid on. Um, no plastic, well there is plastic, it's, I think the surround is plastic. It seems a bit, I don't know, is that going to work? It's soggy, it's going to go a bit soggy I think, isn't it? Rather than plastic. You know what, I was in Italy a couple of days ago. I was at the airport in um, Palermo and I went into a shop and I bought myself a packet of ham in plastic, a sandwich in plastic, a bottle of water that was plastic and a banana that came wrapped in plastic. I mean, like, why, why do bananas need plastic? It's almost like they haven't got a pre-built packaging built in. And I got to the checkout and she said, do you want a bag? And I said, yeah, well, I might take just a plastic bag. She goes, I'm sorry, you can't have plastic bags, they're banned. And I'm like, so you're telling me that I've got all of this stuff wrapped in plastic, but I can't have a plastic bag because <laughs> it's the band. It, 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 it's, it's humorous, isn't it? As I sat and pondered the ridiculousness of some of the situations I find myself in, boarding was announced for my flight to Paramaribo. Hello, good morning. Thank you. Enjoy your flight. Thank you. Hi, good morning. Row four. Yeah, thank you. Okay. Thank you. Have a pleasant Thank you. Hi, good morning. Thank you. Four help. Yes. Oh, the Thank you. So the business class on Suriname Airways A340 is in a staggered configuration in a one-to-one config with some aisle seats having two seats on them so you can sit together. I do like this sort of config on a plane. It's quite flexible and it means that you always get to sit in the sort of seat that you prefer. All right, welcome on board the Suriname Airways Airbus A340. It's going to take me on the nine ten hour flight across to Paramaribo in Suriname which is pretty cool in itself isn't it these seats are quite nice actually they're in a well they're in a one two one but some of them are one two 
two. They're one of these staggered configurations where you've got a window and an aisle and a window and an aisle. And some of them have got two, some of them have got throne seats. It's always, it depends really where you sit. But it's quite nice, this business class. The screen looks a little bit um, small, but other than that, it's quite nice. We've got seat controls just here. We've got power. USB three pin plug and everything right just there. That's a little welcome aboard thing from the crew and a pillow. Your safety card and stuff's all in there. We've got a blanket down there too. It's a it's a simple affair, but it, it's quite nice and it feels quite comfy and um, certainly for today's ride at least. And we're on an A340. I mean, there we go. How often these days do you get to look out the window and see two engines hanging off the wing? The crew came around handing out the menus and the choice today was a little bit interesting. It was a choice between Italian food or Indonesian food. Wow, this is pretty cool. The orange juice comes with a little Serenam flag on the top. <laughs> oh, and it's freshly squeezed as well. Very nice. Ladies and gentlemen, good morning from the company. On behalf of the whole crew and Serenam Airways, welcome aboard. Thank you for choosing for today on your journey to uh, We pushed back from the gate and all four engines powered up to take us on our way across the Atlantic to South America. The taxi out to the runway this morning was a long one, but I do always enjoy taxiing around here at Amsterdam Schiphol. There is just such a wide variety of airlines to see as you taxi out to the runway. Pretty soon it was our turn to go and powered by four hair dryers and the curvature of the earth, the A340 powered up and lumbered into the air for our nine hour flight westbound. 20 minutes later. 346 minutes later. After a takeoff run that felt like we'd started in Amsterdam and lifted off somewhere in Belgium, we were finally airborne and slowly climbing across Europe towards the Atlantic Ocean. Our route today then took us out across southern England, flying over Devon and Cornwall and coasting out into the Atlantic Ocean. We crossed the Azores and made our way down to Suriname where we landed after a flight time of exactly 9 hours, cruising at 36, 37 and 40,000 feet. Alright then, airborne from Amsterdam, heading across to Suriname. That was such a cool takeoff. I love the Airbus A340s. I think it's so cool about looking out and seeing those two engines on it, under each wing. Um, and the climb rate out of Amsterdam is just like crazy slow. These things are so cool. I love planes that when you take off, you kind of take out, re take off really slow and steady. And these four kind of engines really don't give that much power to this massive A340. So your takeoff run generally, when you take off, you're kind of quite shallow and barely climb out. It's so much fun. So we are crossing the North Sea at the minute. I think we're going to cross England. And we don't have any in-flight entertainment on this flight. The screens do not work. So I don't think we've got any way of knowing where we are or anything like that on the flight. So it's going to be fun from that regard. But I think, um, looking at the past routes that this plane flies, it generally flies out over the south of England, down over Devon and Cornwall, and then out into the Atlantic, and then coasting down in towards Suriname. Um, we'll, we'll find out when we watch the playback of this flight afterwards, I guess. But for now, I'm going to sit back and chill, and I think we're going to get lunch served pretty soon as well. We flew out over London, getting a great view of the city before continuing on across southern England. And speaking of the UK, I just want to take a quick minute to introduce my relaunched merch store. We now have a store in both the UK and the US with local shipping where you can get hold of all of my shirts, my famous Noel Phillips socks and even these cool new aircraft seatbelt lanyards. We're working on an Australian store too that's coming soon. They're all available on my website at noelphillips.com. All right then, let's have a little look through the amenity kit. Suriname Airways give you. 
so it comes in quite a nice little zippy bag thing. It's a packet of tissues, an actual packet, Ooh, like socks, but they're like sports socks, ankle socks type things. Uh, we get an eye mask, it's unbranded, but that's okay, it's, it's um, alright. We've got some earplugs, a comb, always handy, a toothbrush, some toothpaste, and oh, hello, hello quite possibly the nicest airline pen that I've ever got in one of these kits. Beautiful Suriname Airways pen. It's quite nice. The crew came around with some warm nuts and orange juice just after takeoff and before too long it was time for lunch. Right, so Starter has turned up for lunch. It's fish, I think it's salmon. It's nice. All right, so the meal options for lunch today were slow cooked beef with pasta, Indonesian style chicken, I am semo with cooked rice or fried salmon fillet. And I've gone for the um, Indonesian chicken. They don't seem to have anything that's actually Surinamese. I'm not entirely sure what Surinamese cuisine is like, really, but this is um, what we get. It's, um, it's, it's chicken. It looks quite nice, so let's give it a go. It's like a curried chicken, really. It's quite nice, quite tasty. For dessert today I went for the cheese plate which was simple yet delicious and to wash it down I had a glass of port. Am I getting old? Now a good friend of mine once told me about four magic letters. HALT, H-A-L-T, stands for hungry, angry, lonely and tired. The key is, she said, never be any more than two of those things at the same time. Well, unfortunately, on some of the trips that I take, that happens quite regularly and I can end up filling all four of them at the same time. Now, when that happens, my brain can start playing tricks on me and telling me things that aren't necessarily the truth. For example, I might see one negative comment on a video and look at that above all of the thousands of positive comments and just focus on the negative one. It, it's human nature and that happens to everybody and that's where this week's video your sponsor comes in, BetterHelp. You see, BetterHelp gives you access to a network of over 30,000 licensed therapists so you can talk to to help clear your brain out and figure out what's going on and get it back to the healthy place that you deserve it to be at. It's really simple to use. You just go onto the website, fill in a few questions and pretty soon you're matched with a licensed therapist who you can talk to and start to figure things out. You get access to them via live chat as well and if at some point you figure out that it's not working, well, you can just change to a different therapist whenever you like and there's no hard feelings from either side. Right now, BetterHelp are giving you 10% off your first month when you use my link on the screen now, betterhelp.com slash noel. That's betterhelp.com slash n-o-e-l. It's time for the Noel Phillips Flu Review. <laughs> It is indeed time for the Lou Review, the Suriname Airways Lou Review. And um, yeah, it said Lou with a view. There's the Lou. And there is the view. What a view as well. You get out of the window of the bathroom while you stood doing your, um, doing your business um, on the, the Lou. I have to admit, on the ground in um, Amsterdam I, I didn't realize that the window was not frosted and I came and used the loo um, and I realized soon after that there might have been people on the ramp outside um, so you do have to be careful when you use a loo with a view but I don't think there's anybody outside the window at the moment halfway across the Atlantic Ocean but it's quite nice we've got a toilet we have a sink we have um, some soap just there a few different um, scenty bits here. We've got what's this? Hand wash, hair and body stuff, all sorts of stuff. Um, instructions how to wash your hands, just in case you've forgotten how to wash your hands since you got on the plane. Um, and a nice window, oh, sorry, a nice mirror with um, lights all around it. It's, it, it's pretty nice. I'm going to use the loo um, and then get back to my seat and try and get a little bit of work done, I think, on this flight. That was the Noel Phillips Loo Review. I sat down to do some editing as we made our way out across the Atlantic Ocean. We're about, about halfway across the Atlantic Ocean now. The crew have just come round. Look at what we've got. Oh, this ice cream, strawberry ice cream. Isn't that well presented with a waffle in the top? <laughs> 
That's so cool. I'm going to try that in a minute. The interesting thing I'm finding about this flight is there's over 30 seats here in business class on the A340, and yet there's only five passengers taking this flight in business class today. They were selling upgrades at check-in and at the gate. You could upgrade to premium economy for $250 US, or you can upgrade to business class from economy for $500. US, which seems like a pretty good deal really. The economy class seats on Suriname Airways are pretty cheap, so if you had 500 to um, come up to business class, you're getting a pretty good deal really. The interesting thing as well is that premium economy on the A340, the seats are identical to the seats here in business class. It's exactly the same seat. The only thing that's different is the service that you get, the meals and stuff like that. So if you want into sort of just have a nicer seat and have some way to stretch out on the flight and stuff like that, then you might as well just take Comfort Class or Premium Economy with Suriname Airways and save yourself a bit of cash in the process. Alright, well I've just finished all the editing that I can do really on the flight, because I need to do like voiceover and stuff, now clearly I can't really do that while I'm flying, but um, <laughs> interestingly I've just looked at my watch and we're only less than two hours from landing now, it's taken up most of the flight doing that time absolutely flies when you can get busy on a flight like this um, but they're just coming around with a bit of a snack so we're going to have a bite to eat and then once I've had a snack I do want to try out this flatbed and see what it's like and what it would be like on the return leg coming back from Suriname. Alright so snack, pre-landing snack, you had a choice of duck breast which is cold or chicken noodles which is hot so I've gone for the hot chicken noodles with some hot sauce on it we'll see what they're like. Very nice very delicious that hot sauce is pretty hot though. She did warn me it was hot and I shouldn't put too much on and I kind of did what I usually do and put too much on. Whew, I think she, she's bringing me some wine I think in a minute. After blowing my mouth out on the noodles I decided it was time to try out the flatbed. Yeah well that's not too bad. Um, I am touching at both ends. Um, my feet and my head that is. But only just. Slightly snug down at the bottom end, that's slightly snug down there, but eh, it's okay. And if I sort of lay on my side, or if I lay on my side, my feet really, my legs really are sort of wedged up. It's a little bit on the snug side, but that said, oh, it's a nice flat bed and it's flat and it means that you can actually get some sleep on it, which is kind of the point of it really. It doesn't need to be a double the king size bed or anything like that, a California king or anything. Um, oh, the good thing is though, it's got a massage function on it. So I can have a massage while I'm sleeping. That's not is it any good, let's feel it. Oh, actually, yes it is actually quite nice, that. This is not like some of them where they're just inflatable pillows that keep buffing up and down while you're trying to sleep and you're floating and bobbing about. It's actually quite nice, it's like a bar that's going through going up and down a little bit. That's quite nice, that. quite comfy. Honestly, I am properly impressed with Suriname Airways. I'm not sure I was expecting to be quite as impressed as I have been. Um, they're pretty flipping good, if I'm honest. Before we landed in Suriname, the crew came around spraying the cabin, and before too long, we were on our approach into Paramaribo International Airport. All right, then we have started our descent down into Paramaribo. So excited to see what it's like down there. Suriname is one of those countries I know not a lot about. It's somewhere that I've been fascinated with for a very long time, like many countries, because I just don't know what's there. And it seemed I wouldn't have too long to find out as the coastline of Suriname started to come into view out the window. The airport at Paramaribo is miles away from the city out in the middle of the Amazon rainforest. That does mean as you come in to land it feels like you're landing somewhere really remote and exotic as you descend over the trees into Paramaribo International Airport. With a smash down onto the runway, we had landed in South America's smallest country, Suriname. The 
The airport here at Paramaribo is tiny, it has only a handful of flights a day, and when the A340 arrives or the KLM777 on other days, it takes up most of the space on the airport's tiny apron, causing quite a stir. Cabin crew disarm flight. The good thing about this though is that you get to disembark such a massive plane like the A340 via air stairs and walk right alongside it to the terminal. The small airport here in Paramaribo is quite strange. It looks really nice and brand new in some areas and in other areas it's not very nice at all. Based on my experience here, the arrivals experience is much nicer and more welcoming than the departures area, which is more like a bus station. Hi, I've got one booked already. Thank you. Here we go. Thank you. Going to Hotel Merit, right? Yes, please. Yeah, thank you. Courtyard, I think it's called. You're the first person. First person out, yeah, because I don't have any bags, I just like carry on, so. <laughs> He was asking you, uh, how do you like, they were asking you, how, how do you like Suriname? I don't uh, okay. English. <laughs> I don't know yet, I've only just arrived. <laughs> Your first time? First time here, yes. All right then, welcome to Paramaribo, Suriname. About an hour and 20 minutes drive now to the hotel in downtown Paramaribo. Just driving through the rainforest, would you look at that? Lots of speed bumps, even on the main roads. But hey, we're here. I'd like to say thank you to my amazing Patreons for their ongoing support. You can join them at the link on the screen now for access to my WhatsApp group, regular Zoom calls with me, and much more. All right, welcome to Paramaribo in Suriname. Looks like an absolutely incredible place. I can't wait to go out and explore. Uh, oh yeah, lovely view over the beautiful rainforests of Suriname outside my window. Um, but hey, I can, it, 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 it do. It's quite a nice room. I am going to get changed, have a bite to eat, and then we'll go for a bit of a wander and have a look around the sites of Paramaribo and see what there is to do here. All right then, let's go for a little wander around Paramaribo. What a lovely part of the world this is. And one thing I'm noticing here in Paro Maribo is all the supermarkets, they've got Chinese names. And I was chatting to the taxi driver. This one's Hua Jin Supermarket. He said that Paro Maribo is such a multicultural place that every single supermarket you find will be owned by Chinese people. And Paro Maribo apparently is home to some of the best Chinese food in the world, outside of China, obviously. Loads of like Asian food, fusion food. He said there's nothing really that's actual Surinamese food. It's all multicultural and international, so Chinese, Asian inspired. Hence why on the plane, I've got Indonesian chicken. Another Chinese place, Chi Minh, Chinese restaurant. <laughs> so this is where the president of Suriname lives, the big boss. That's his, that's his house. It's quite nice, isn't it? The strange thing about Paramaribo and I guess Suriname in general really, Suriname was a Dutch colony until the 1970s and it was a Dutch colony for more than um, 300 years. So when you walk around downtown Paramaribo, it's like they've taken a chunk of Amsterdam and just planted it here in the rainforest in Suriname. It's all a bit surreal really. It's like Amsterdam but with nicer weather. Can I just say, by the way, that people from Suriname seem to be some of the loveliest people I've ever met on any of my travels around the world. I mean, if you think about it really, Dutch people to me are, well, they're some of the jolliest, happiest people in the world. You never see an angry Dutchman, do you? But here in Suriname, they kind of take that chilled out, laid back Dutchness and add in a Caribbean sort of laid back vibe that makes people just really happy and friendly and the amount of people that have stopped and talked to me and stuff and been really happy and smiley, it's been lovely. 
Right, hey. There you go. Case in point. Um, I've got a few days here now before I take my next adventure out somewhere else really cool here in South America. So stay tuned for that video because you're not going to want to miss it. Uh, but in the meantime, well, I'm off to get a bite to eat and um, see about heading back to my hotel. So um, thanks very much for watching. Take care. And I'll see you on the next one. Bye for now.